Okay. Um, so this is a half day, and you're not here right now. Well, I'm not here right now. So what I want to do today is real quickly, this I want to keep this video short, and walk you through some composition things. And then what you're going to do is use the rest of the class to go out and uh, capture some of these photos. Okay, so without further ado, this presentation is also going to be in the classroom, and you're going to be able to, you'll have your own copy of another thing to do. So be aware of that, or be ready for it. Okay, so composition and framing. This is a super important part of photography because it makes your photos look better. I want to ask you to go out and take some good photos. This is how to take your good photos and make them better. Uh, this is just a universal thing. Doesn't matter what kind of camera you're using, this 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 will work. So I told you about this quote: "If your photos aren't good enough, you're not close enough." So your first step should be if you're wondering like how to make your photos better, get up, walk closer. That'll that'll help you a lot. First thing: the rule of thirds. This is mentally, or sometimes some cameras have this in the Meridian. I know iPhones do. Uh, some of the cameras we have do. Breaking your screen down into nine chunks. One, two, three, yeah. And then lining up the important elements of that photo on the rule of thirds. So saying, say I'm taking a photo of my mug here. If I was going to take a photo of it, I would line the mug up on maybe the right third or the left third. And that's depending on what I want the photo to look like. Or if you're taking a picture of a landscape and be lining, lining the horizon on with the top third or the bottom third. One of those, some of those lines will help you make your photo a little more attractive. So you can see here, you can see the bottom third has a horizon, the right third has this uh, lighthouse on it. Balance. You don't want to make your photo too heavy, you don't want everything to be on the same side. So if you have something interesting on one side, you have something else on the other side. So we have our outside over here, and to balance it out, instead of just blue sky, we have our or like dilapidated building over here. Okay, it makes it easier to look at, makes it a little more aesthetically pleasing. Symmetry. This is something you can do. This directly contradicts the rule of thirds, but it's still a valid practice. So taking a picture and trying your best to keep the same thing on both sides can make a very attractive photo, make a very aesthetically pleasing photo. So think about that next time you're, you're taking pictures. Say you're going to the auditorium and you're taking a picture of like the chairs or something. Having that symmetry on both sides might be an interesting photo. POV and viewpoint. Now we talked about this a little bit already. But having an interesting, interesting viewpoint is half of the challenge of photography. Now you have all the creative freedom in the world on how you want to place the camera. That is the lifeblood of photography, is where your, your, your camera is going. Uh, so give me an interesting viewpoint. Cropping. If you don't want me to see something, zoom in, get closer. Uh, this can be used to show interesting parts of a photo in a place that might not be super interesting. So maybe I'm taking a picture of a bookshelf and I zoom just into the books uh, because the shelf isn't super full. Or you're just really getting a part of a texture on the stairs. Crop of things that you don't want out, or the things that aren't important to your photo. Zoom in so they're not in, not in frame, so we can really focus on the important things. And then experimentation. This one isn't really experimental. Um, but all these rules in, in general are kind of fake. So do what you want to do. If you have an idea, don't be like, oh, well, I can't take this photo because it doesn't apply to the rule of thirds or symmetry or anything like that. If you have an idea, run with it. The, the beauty of digital photography is that you can do a thousand photos and it won't matter. Okay? So those are the general guidelines of photography. All these are just guides. You don't have to follow any of them exactly. These are all guides. So what you can do is if you're stuck with a photo, you can use these to kind of lead your way. You can use these to get yourself moving in a direction. You're like, I know I want to take a photo of this staircase, how can I frame it? Use these techniques, okay? So that's what we got here. What I want you to do is get on the assignment uh, that I posted on Classroom that has a slideshow. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go out and you're gonna take some photos that apply to each of these uh, compositional techniques 
and you're going to make your own slideshow like I have here with all these. So you're going to make your own. Okay? And there will be instructions in, this, in, the, in that slideshow. All right. That's what we got. We'll try to keep this short. Go forth and do your thing.